All right, let's try next tying the Eldridge necktie knot. It's one of the fancy ones. So, once again, traditional length. Not dealing with anything abnormally long. Some folks think you need a, an extra long tie to accomplish this knot. I'm six foot two and I can manage it with the traditional length necktie. So, starting, we're going to take the wide end of the tie, bring it about two inches above our belt line, take the narrow end. Well, first of all, we'll bring the wide end to the placket of the shirt, fold it forward away from your body, and then the wings down, just like that, little pinch, creates a nice dimple. Narrow end, comes across the front, out in a low spiral, and we're going to go up the neck, out the opposite side. It's important to keep these moves as tight as possible. If you keep these ones too loose, you are going to run out of length before you finish the knot. Now we're going to wrap the face. We're not tucking back down through this one, so we're just going to keep that triangle as absolutely tight as possible cinching that very tight. Then we're going to bring this one to the opposite side, loop behind, and we're going to tuck through it. And don't know if you saw that move. Let me undo it so you can see it again. So we're going through here and down the strap of the neck as well. And as we pull that tight, this will cinch in but we need it as tight as possible. So I'm going to wrap this once again very tightly. Take this side and then pull the tail to cinch it in. So now you see we've got this nice arch happening right here. We're going to duplicate those two moves exactly. So we're coming out the bottom of the tie here. We're going to mirror this, not mirror, but trace this one over the top and to the opposite side. Loosen it up a touch so that we can take the tail and tuck it through. This is where it takes a little bit of finesse. So once again, pull this tight. Give yourself a little more slack on the tail. Careful not to pull it back through or we're going to have to undo this step and start it over again and then pull the tail again. So you can see even with the standard length necktie I was able to still achieve the knot with approximately two and a half to three inches of remaining length. That's going to sit between the neck strap and my collar as I bring the collar itself down. You are left with this multi-layered pattern that is the Eldridge Necktie Knot.